Hello, I'm Claire and welcome back to my series of Get Thrifty. This week I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own washing powder. So let's get started. So for this you're going to need a pint of water being brought to the boil and then you'll need some essential oil of your choice, a 100% vegetable oil soap bar, you'll need a jug, a grater and some soda crystals and a little bit of extra water. So firstly what I'm going to do is I'm just waiting for a pint of water that's on the hob to come to the boil and as that's just coming up to the boil I'm going to be grating and giving my arm a complete workout all of my 100% vegetable oil soap into the pan. See, when you make your own products at home, you never have to have bingo wings. All you're doing is grating everything all the time. And make sure the soap you get is 100% vegetable oil, which you can get from most supermarkets and it's really cheap. Um, don't be tempted to buy anything that's kind of 50% or has extra gumph in it because this is going in your washing machine and you don't want to mess up your washing machine. So that's in. I'm feeling like I've had a workout. I just wait for that to come to the boil and then just kind of mixing in all of the soap as you go. And it will take a while to dissolve, but I'll get there in the end. Now this is boiling, you can take it off the heat. Don't be tempted to take it off before it's boiled because the soap won't melt. You need to have 250 mils worth of soda crystals and then that needs to be topped up to one pint with water. Let's just give that a bit of a waggle. Pour that into the mixture. You want to put 20 drops of your favourite essential oil. I always use tea tree but um, you can use anything you want. But if you are pregnant and or you have small boys, I'd recommend not using lavender because it just messes with hormones, so just stay away from that one. But yeah, tea tree's amazing and it smells divine as well. And you've got this beautiful gluey thing going on in the pot. When it gets to that point, it's perfect. So I'm gonna let that cool for a minute and then I'm going to decant it. So now this has cooled down enough to be able to put into your jar. You want to take a metal spoon, I find that works a bit better, and start spooning it in. Now the consistency of this is fine, I mean it can go slightly more liquid and it can even go to almost quite powdery. It's kind of anything goes really. When you come to use this, you want a really heaped tablespoon per wash. You can either chuck it straight into the drum or I use a hairspray lid little plastic pot. Okay, and just put our last little bit in there and seal it up. And there you have it. One little pot of washing powder gloop. And it costs you about a quid for, I'd say, 20, 30 washes. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the like button and you can also subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on Twitter and you can also like our Facebook. So I'll see you next week. I'll be showing you how to polish silver with three store-covered ingredients. See you then.